Hi. What's going on, everybody? So thanks to everybody for um, staying with us for your door. <laughs> what? It's fun. Thanks everybody for staying uh, with us for the life exchange walkthrough. It took way longer than we were expecting, but eh, what are you gonna do? Um, so, what'd you think of overall the game? The game started out like pretty good, and then like towards the the last episode we just did, like whoa. That was just whoa. It was a little creepy, a little depressing, and we did this originally for um, anti-bullying purposes. And we talked about um, how this theoretically ties into it. Like, there are certain parts that tie into anti-bullying, like why you shouldn't bully somebody, and there's Kate committing suicide, or trying to commit suicide. You know? Yeah. And we, Kimberly and I had a revelation moment where it's like, well, if you bully someone enough, they can turn into Mark Jefferson. Pretty much. Blown. We went with the old theme and some music in the background just for a change. Um, what was your favorite part? What do you think? Favorite part. When she finally kissed Warren. Okay, yeah. Kimberly and I have been like Team Warren the entire game. He's a dork, but so is she, so they kind of work together. They're both adorkable. <laughs> what? It's true. Um, I like the beginning of the game where you're like it was explaining and it was setting up for a really interesting plot line. The plot line was really interesting. Oh yeah. But my favorite part was when we got a text from Papa Dude. Oh yeah, the Papa Dude's a dog. Uh, that was great. That you're was not messing with me and Frank. Do you have a snack? <laughs> it's just like that reminded me of Doug from uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> um Squirrel? <laughs> Where? <laughs> so, um, overall, you know, the game was, it's a telltale, so it was, like, less quality graphics than what we were used to. Yeah. And so, but, um, yeah. We, it was a good game overall, I think. Yeah. And we're gonna have, um, Uncharted 2 started up right after we get lunch today. I'm at the sushi bar. Um, so I'm gonna bad, try to realize what I'm covered for this, because, I mean, it took us a long time to do this game, and yeah. part of the reason is like Kimberly and I were trying to set up for what we wanted for this channel, how we wanted to do it. Well, and you know, not living nearby. Yeah, and we went students. through some conflicts with the um, studio that we were with originally, and uh, but now you know we're doing this on our own, we're doing it solo, and we kind of yeah. know what we want to do with that. So, with this. Um, rating wise, I'm gonna give Life is Strange a 3 out of 5 stars. Just because there is some stuff that could be fixed, and there's some stuff I didn't entirely agree with. Just yeah. as a gamer. Um, like, they should definitely make it so the their mouths move at the same time the speech is coming out. That was kind of annoying. Don't Nod did a really good job with this game. I think they focused more on the story than they did with like the technical. Yeah. And that's fine. You know, that's good, but you want both. And yeah. I know that Telltale isn't the best technically, technical speaking, but but you know, there has to be an equilibrium there. And there were also just certain parts where they were kind of pushing it mm -hmm. with the story. Um but it can be a game logic. Yeah. My only thing is, was it a tornado? Or a hurricane. Or was it just a storm? Like, what? Episode 1, they said tornado. Episode 2, they said storm. Episode 3, they never actually said hurricane, but they just said storm. And then they said tornado in episode 4, and then episode 5, it's a storm. So, yeah! So I think it's just a giant storm. So what was with the twister? <laughs> so that's my only thing. Um, but Life is Strange 2 is supposed to be going to the works this, sometime this year. And, uh... So that's, that's something we're both looking forward to. Um, yeah. I don't know if we'll cover it. I may buy it just to play through it um, as we're covering it. Now, when it's Last of Us 2 comes out, well, yeah, we're doing it. Whether it's with you or with Leyland, we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, but yeah. like um, The only last thing is, so for those of you that didn't watch the update videos or any of the other live streams, um, the reason Kimberly and I have been so out of the loop lately is because I transferred schools. Yeah, and he lives farther away now. And so we're doing what we can do, but you know, that's why we've had Leyland on the show and we've had um, Kimberly from time to time. And this yeah. winter we'll have Leyland again and then 
also possibly this winter Alex will be joining me for um, the DLC portion of um, Tomb Rise of the Tomb Raider, which comes out in October. I'll be doing the main story with Layla. Um, and then Layla and I will be doing Last of Us Left Behind DLC. Um, but other than that, thanks to everybody for you know supporting us up until this point. We probably wouldn't have gotten to where we are yeah. without you guys. Um, and I know I'm only saying that to like what 30 subscribers, but you got to start somewhere. And um, you know, so um, yeah. Thanks for joining us for our walkthrough. Um, we're gonna go get some sushi, and we'll see you later when yeah. we're doing Uncharted. Yeah, and we'll get back into that. So until um, then, happy gaming. And we hope to see you guys real soon. Bye.